Brad Pitt, who is known as the sexiest man on the planet, has become famous not only for his acting talent, but also for his quite A-list dating history. Possessing two extremely famous Hollywood wives, Angelina Jolie and Jennifer Aniston, Brad has shocked the entertainment industry for 16 years without needing to develop his career too much. However, the women who have passed through Brad Pitt's hands do not stop at this number two, but have multiplied many times over in the past and present. So what's worth mentioning is who Brad Pitt really has a sincere love for, who can keep him. Watch this video to get the answer. In the late 1980s, Brad Pitt's romantic life was the subject of much fascination and speculation. One of the notable relationships during that time was with British pop star Sunita, which reportedly spanned from 1986 to 1988. Sunita opened up about their relationship in 2011 when she appeared on the reality show, I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. According to Marie Claire UK, Sunita fondly recalled her time with Pitt, describing him as beautiful with the most amazing body. During the interview, Sunita shared some insight into their relationship, highlighting the qualities that attracted her to Pitt. She described him as fun, young, and very sweet, which gave fans a glimpse into the personality of the young actor. However, their relationship also faced some challenges from passionate fans. Sunita revealed that she experienced an unexpected incident when a fervent fan gave her a slap after learning about her relationship with Pitt. This incident underscored the intense scrutiny and emotions surrounding their romance. One intriguing aspect of their relationship is that it occurred before Brad Pitt's breakthrough role in the film Thelma and Louise. Sunita herself admitted that even after seeing the movie, she couldn't help but think, oh my God. What have I done? This comment suggests that she may have had mixed feelings about the trajectory of Pitt's career and the impact it might have had on their relationship. It also hints at the transformative effect of Thelma and Louise on Pitt's career as it catapulted him to international fame and established him as a major Hollywood star. Following his relationship with Sunita, Brad Pitt's romantic journey continued as he dated actress Jill Sholin. They met on the set of the horror movie Cutting Class. While this relationship may not have garnered as much attention as his previous one, it was another chapter in the actor's personal life during the late 1980s. Following his split from actress Jill Shulin, Brad Pitt's romantic journey continued with a brief but significant relationship with voice actress Elizabeth E.G. Daly. In a revealing interview for Pitt's E! True Hollywood Story, Daly provided insights into their time together and her impressions of the rising star. Daly described Pitt as deep-souled and super cute, highlighting his attractive physical appearance and his inner depth. Their connection was evidently multifaceted, suggesting that their romance went beyond surface-level attraction. Daly's comments about Pitt's personality shed light on the complex and passionate individual he was at the time. One of the notable aspects of Pitt's character, as recounted by Daly, was his intense dedication to his work. She noted that when you looked at him, it was as if something powerful was seething beneath the surface. This observation aligns with Pitt's reputation for being a committed and ambitious actor. It suggests that even in the early stages of his career, he possessed a remarkable drive and determination to achieve greatness in his chosen field. This inner fire may have been one of the qualities that drew Daly to him and made their connection so meaningful. According to Daly, she sensed a strong visceral drive within Pitt, a relentless pursuit of something significant. This drive and ambition were likely defining factors in his career trajectory, ultimately propelling him to become one of Hollywood's most iconic actors. Despite the end of their brief romance, Daly and Pitt remained friends. This enduring friendship implies that their connection extended beyond the romantic aspect of their relationship and that they shared a mutual respect and camaraderie that transcended their time together as a couple.
The romantic history between Brad Pitt and actress Robin Givens is one that has been surrounded by controversy and differing accounts over the years. Their relationship began during their time as co-stars on the TV show Head of the Class. However, it became a topic of intrigue when Givens and her then-estranged husband, boxer Mike Tyson, were going through a tumultuous separation. In his memoir titled Undisputed Truth, Mike Tyson made allegations about Brad Pitt and Robin Givens that added fuel to the rumors and speculation. Tyson claimed that he had pulled into their driveway and witnessed Givens in a car with Pitt, and he even went further to allege that he had caught them in bed while he and Givens were still together. These accusations created a media frenzy and added to the intrigue surrounding their relationship. In 2019, Robin Givens addressed these allegations during an interview on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen. Givens firmly denied the affair with Pitt, stating, Pulling up in the driveway? That part is true. This admission confirmed that Tyson's account of finding them in the driveway was accurate. However, she vehemently refuted Tyson's more salacious claim, declaring, I didn't read the book, but I was told he says he caught us in bed, which never happened. Never, ever, ever happened. Givens made it clear that the allegations of an affair and being caught in bed were baseless. She went on to explain the context of the situation, saying, we were coming from like a screening or something. This statement suggests that the circumstances surrounding her being in a car with Brad Pitt were innocent and unrelated to any romantic involvement. It was simply a situation where two colleagues and friends were together following a professional engagement. Brad Pitt's connection with actress Christina Applegate during the late 1980s and early 1990s provides a glimpse into his personal life during his early years in Hollywood. Their interactions were marked by a series of events and moments that left a lasting impression in the public eye. At the time, Christina Applegate was a young actress known for her role on the popular television show Married with Children. Brad Pitt, along with his roommate and fellow actor Jason Priestley from 90210, was invited to join the cast and crew for barbecues on the set of the show. These casual get-togethers offered a chance for the young stars to mingle and form connections within the entertainment industry. Photographs from that era captured moments of Pitt and Applegate appearing cozy together, which inevitably fueled rumors and speculation about their relationship. Their public appearances together, such as attending an Amnesty International event in 1988, further added to the intrigue surrounding their connection. One of the more memorable events involving Brad Pitt and Christina Applegate was when Pitt accompanied Applegate as her date to the 1989 MTV Movie Awards. This high-profile appearance solidified their status as a Hollywood power couple of the time. However, what became a point of interest in their story was the unexpected twist that occurred during the MTV Movie Awards. According to Applegate, she actually ditched Pitt for another man at the event. While she did not reveal the identity of this mystery man during a Plead the Fifth segment on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen in 2015, she did clarify that neither she nor Pitt pursued a relationship with the person for whom she left Pitt. Brad Pitt and Juliette Lewis started dating in late 1989 and remained together until 1993. Throughout their relationship, they also had the opportunity to work together professionally, co-starring in two films, California and Too Young to Die. These collaborations added a layer of complexity to their romance as they navigated the intricacies of both personal and professional life in the public eye. Two years after their breakup, Brad Pitt opened up about his feelings for Juliette Lewis in an interview with Vanity Fair. He expressed a deep and enduring affection for her, saying, I still love the woman. There's some real genius there. I had a great time with her. It was one of the greatest relationships I've ever been in. Pitt's words reflect the genuine connection and fond memories they shared during their time together. He also acknowledged the complexity of love, 
recognizing that despite the strength of their feelings, relationships don't always conquer all challenges. Despite their breakup, Pitt and Lewis managed to remain on friendly terms and look back on their time together with fondness. Their ability to maintain a positive and amicable relationship is a testament to the respect and admiration they have for each other, even after the romantic aspect of their connection has ended. However, Juliette Lewis has expressed her reservations about constantly being associated with her megastar ex in the media. In 2014, during an interview with People, she expressed frustration that much of the press from her younger years often focused on her relationship with Brad Pitt or her struggles with addiction, even though she had moved past those phases in her life. She emphasized her growth and personal development, declaring that she had left behind the challenges of her earlier years by the age of 22 and was no longer defined by those experiences. In November 1994, Brad Pitt attended the premiere of Legends of the Fall with model Jitka Polodek as his date. Although both Pitt and Polodek have remained relatively private about their brief romance, Polodek did share a glimpse of her feelings toward the actor in a 2000 interview with People. She simply stated, The man glows, providing a brief but evocative description of her connection with Pitt during their time together. Shortly after his involvement with Poe Lodek, Brad Pitt crossed paths with actress Gwyneth Paltrow when they were cast as husband and wife in the 1995 thriller See Set In. Their on-screen chemistry quickly spilled over into real life, leading to a whirlwind romance. Pitt's affection for Paltrow was evident when he referred to her as his angel and the love of his life during his 1996 Golden Globes acceptance speech for Best Supporting Actor in 12 Monkeys. Their relationship deepened, and they became engaged in December 1996. However, their engagement was short-lived, as they decided to part ways in June 1997 before exchanging vows. The breakup was a significant event, with Paltrow later revealing that her father, Bruce Paltrow, was particularly devastated because he adored Pitt. This insight into their relationship's impact on Gwyneth Paltrow's family reflects the seriousness and intensity of their connection. Despite the end of their romantic involvement, Brad Pitt and Gwyneth Paltrow remained close friends over the years. In a conversation in June 2022, Pitt expressed his appreciation for their friendship, telling Paltrow, It's lovely to have you as a friend now. Their ability to maintain a strong bond despite the romantic breakup speaks to the genuine connection they shared. Gwyneth Paltrow reminisced about her relationship with Pitt during a May 2023 appearance on the Call Her Daddy podcast. She described their initial meeting on the set of Sessanin as major, major love at first sight, emphasizing the intensity of their attraction. Paltrow also recalled the memorable proposal from Pitt which took place on the balcony of a rented house in Argentina. While she couldn't recall the exact words he used, she expressed her surprise and delight at the moment, describing it as fantastic. Their engagement took place when she was around 24 years old, and the experience left a lasting impression on both of them. Brad Pitt's relationship with Jennifer Aniston was a major highlight of his career and personal life. Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston first crossed paths in 1998, and their connection quickly blossomed into a romantic relationship. The chemistry between the Hollywood heartthrob and the beloved Friends star was evident to those around them, and their romance soon became the subject of widespread attention. In 1999, Brad Pitt made a heartfelt and iconic proposal to Jennifer Aniston, asking her to be his wife. Aniston accepted, marking the beginning of a much-anticipated engagement. Their engagement was celebrated by fans and the media alike, as they were one of Hollywood's most glamorous and beloved couples. The culmination of their love story took place on July 29, 2000, when Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston exchanged vows in a lavish wedding ceremony held in Malibu. The wedding was a grand affair, featuring approximately 200 guests, an extravagant display of 50,000 flowers, multiple bands, a gospel choir, and a spectacular fireworks display. 
Jennifer Aniston, radiant in her wedding gown, was escorted down the aisle by her father, John Aniston, a well-known actor from Days of Our Lives. He described the event as spectacular, reflecting the joy and beauty of the occasion. Their wedding became an iconic moment in celebrity history, symbolizing the union of two beloved figures in the entertainment industry. The public and media were enamored with their fairy tale like love story and the grandeur of their nuptials. However, in January 2005, Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston shocked the world when they announced their separation. The joint statement they released to Pupil conveyed their decision to formally separate after seven years together. They emphasized that their separation was not the result of tabloid speculation and rumors, but rather the outcome of extensive and thoughtful consideration. Despite their decision to part ways as a couple, they emphasized their commitment to remaining caring friends with great love and admiration for each other. The announcement of their separation marked the end of a high-profile and much-publicized relationship. Despite the disappointment felt by many fans, their matura and respectful approach to the breakup left a lasting impression on the public. The enduring fascination with Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston's relationship continues to be a part of their respective legacies in Hollywood. After Jennifer Aniston filed for divorce from Brad Pitt in March 2005, their high-profile split was finalized by October of the same year, marking the end of their marriage. In the years following their divorce, both Pitt and Aniston went on to lead separate lives and pursue their respective careers. However, the public's fascination with their relationship endured, and there were occasional reports of them maintaining a cordial friendship. One significant development in their post-divorce relationship occurred in 2017, following Brad Pitt's split from Angelina Jolie. It was reported that Pitt and Aniston began exchanging occasional text messages, suggesting a renewed connection between the two. Additionally, Brad Pitt attended Jennifer Aniston's 50th birthday party in 2019, which garnered significant media attention. These events sparked speculation about a potential romantic reconciliation, reigniting interest in their relationship. Their highly publicized reunion at the 2020 Screen Actors Guild, SAG Awards, added to the buzz. Pitt and Aniston shared a brief but memorable moment backstage, where they were photographed embracing and congratulating each other on their respective SAGI award wins. Their interaction sent fans and media into a frenzy, fueling rumors of a romantic rekindling. Another noteworthy collaboration occurred when Pitt and Aniston participated in a table read of the classic film Fast Times at Ridgemont High in 2020 as part of a charity event. Their playful and friendly banter during the event generated further speculation about the nature of their relationship. Despite these occasional interactions and moments of connection, both Pitt and Aniston have consistently emphasized that they are not pursuing a romantic reconciliation. Insiders close to the situation have reinforced this stance, stating that they remember the serious issues that led to their breakup and have chosen to remain platonic friends. In a 2018 interview with People, a source commented on their relationship saying, they broke up and they did it because they had serious issues. They're not stupid. They remember why it didn't work. This statement underscores the maturity and wisdom with which they have approached their post-divorce relationship. Jennifer Aniston herself clarified the nature of their connection during a 2021 interview with Howard Stern. She referred to Pitt as her buddy and emphasized their friendship. Aniston's straightforward and candid remarks signaled that their bond, while strong and genuine, was firmly rooted in friendship rather than romantic entanglement. The story of Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie's relationship is deeply intertwined with their work on the film Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and it became a major tabloid sensation due to its origins while Pitt was still married to Jennifer Aniston. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie met on the set of Mr. and Mrs. Smith in 2003. At that time, 
Pitt was still married to Jennifer Aniston, and their marriage was seen as one of Hollywood's most glamorous unions. Despite being professional actors, Pitt and Jolie didn't become romantically involved immediately. Instead, their initial connection was more about the camaraderie and partnership that developed while working on the film. Angelina Jolie reflected on their early interactions in a 2007 interview with Vogue, explaining how the demanding nature of their work on Mr. and Mrs. Smith brought them together. She described their growing bond as a strange friendship and partnership that seemed to happen organically. As they spent time together working on the film, they discovered a shared sense of joy and a strong sense of teamwork. In the interview, Jolie admitted that she initially didn't have a clear understanding of Brad Pitt's personal life or where he stood in his marriage to Jennifer Aniston. She emphasized that during the filming of the movie, it was evident that Pitt was with his best friend, someone he deeply loved and respected. This statement highlights the complexity of the situation and suggests that their connection began as a close friendship. As the film's production continued, Jolie and Pitt gradually realized that their bond might hold deeper significance than they had initially allowed themselves to believe. They both recognized that the reality of their connection was something substantial and required serious consideration. The separation of Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston in January 2005 marked the beginning of a significant period of transformation in Pitt's personal life. Shortly after their separation, Angelina Jolie, who was already a mother to her adopted son Maddox, expanded her family by adopting a daughter named Zahara Marley during the summer of 2005. This addition was the first step in creating a loving and diverse family unit. In January 2006, Maddox and Zahara's last names were legally changed to Jolie Pitt, symbolizing the family's unity and commitment to their newfound connections. This legal step underscored the idea that love and family can be created through both birth and adoption, emphasizing the importance of bonds forged through love and choice. Around the same time, in January 2006, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie confirmed that Jolie was pregnant. This news added another layer of excitement and anticipation to their evolving family. It was a period of great change and expansion for both of them. In May 2006, the couple celebrated the birth of their first biological child, a daughter named Shiloh Nouvelle. This momentous occasion marked the beginning of their journey as parents together. The birth of Shiloh further solidified their commitment to each other and their shared vision of a loving family. Later that year, in December 2006, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie made their official red carpet debut as a couple at the New York City premiere of Jolie's film, The Good Shepherd. Their public appearance signaled the acknowledgement and acceptance of their relationship in the public eye, making their status as a couple more official. In the following year, the couple expanded their family once more by adopting their son, Pax Thien, from Vietnam. This act of adoption demonstrated their ongoing commitment to providing a loving home for children in need, as well as their dedication to nurturing a diverse family. On February 23, 2008, at the Independent Spirit Awards, Angelina Jolie debuted a baby bump, and it was later revealed that she was pregnant with twins. This exciting news was met with anticipation and joy as the couple looked forward to welcoming two more additions to their growing family. On July 12, 2008, Angelina Jolie gave birth to twins, a son named Knox Leon and a daughter named Vivienne Marcheline. The arrival of the twins brought the total number of children in their family to six. Jolie described their expanded family as chaos, but she also emphasized that they were managing it and having a wonderful time. Their family dynamic showcased the love, care, and dedication they had for each other and their children, whether through birth or adoption. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie's relationship took another significant turn in 2012 when their children urged them to get married. 
This heartfelt request from their children played a pivotal role in the couple's decision to take their commitment to the next level. In April of that year, a representative for Pitt and Jolie confirmed their engagement, and it was announced to the world with the reveal of a stunning engagement ring estimated to be worth around $1 million. The engagement marked a significant milestone for the couple, and it was clear that their bond had deepened over the years. They were not only partners in life, but also collaborators in various creative endeavors. On August 23, 2014, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie exchanged their vows in an intimate and picturesque ceremony at the chapel located on their Chateau Miraval estate in France. Jolie wore a gown that held special meaning, as it had been decorated with artwork created by their children. This personal touch added a heartfelt and unique element to their wedding attire, emphasizing the importance of their family in their union. Furthermore, their children played an active role in the wedding ceremony by helping the couple write their own vows. The involvement of their children in the wedding process underscored the family-centric nature of their relationship and the significance of their commitment to each other and their children. Pitt and Jolie were intent on making their wedding day a relaxed and joyful occasion. They shared their sentiments with people at the time, stating, it was important to us that the day was relaxed and full of laughter. It was such a special day to share with our children and a very happy time for our family. This description of their wedding day highlights the emphasis they placed on creating a warm and loving atmosphere to celebrate their union. Following their wedding, the couple embarked on their honeymoon, during which they worked together on the film By the Sea. The film was released in the fall of 2015 and represented another collaborative project for the talented duo. Their creative partnership allowed them to explore their artistic talents while continuing to strengthen their bond as a couple. On September 20th, 2016, just a little over two years after celebrating their second wedding anniversary, Angelina Jolie filed for divorce from Brad Pitt. The news was met with shock and sadness from the public and fans who had followed their relationship. A representative for Jolie issued a statement explaining that the decision to file for divorce was made with the well-being of their family in mind. Jolie requested privacy during this difficult time, signaling the seriousness of the situation. In response to the divorce filing, Brad Pitt issued his own statement expressing his sadness over the decision. Pitt emphasized that, at that moment, the most important concern was the well-being and welfare of their children. He requested that the press respect the privacy of their family during this challenging period. The divorce proceedings were accompanied by allegations of an alleged heated altercation on a private plane that had become physical. Although there were reports suggesting that Pitt had struck one of their children, he vehemently denied these allegations. Investigations were carried out by the Los Angeles Department of Child and Protective Services as well as the FBI. Ultimately, both agencies found no evidence of child abuse, and the FBI concluded its investigation without filing charges against Brad Pitt. This aspect of their divorce added further complexity and heightened media attention to their separation. By April 2019, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie were declared legally single, marking a formal step in the divorce process. However, despite this legal status change, contentious negotiations over custody and the division of assets, notably their winery, remained ongoing. These negotiations demonstrated the complexities of their separation, especially in terms of their shared assets and the arrangements for their children. It is known that Brad Pitt is currently cultivating his relationship with Inez de Ramon, and it seems that this relationship is progressing very well. What do you think about Brad Pitt's complicated love story? Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.